happy vlogmas today i have a much anticipated swap with susan from twinkling beauty we swapped last vlogmas and we have had quite a few swaps since then i enjoy building boxes for susan as much as i enjoy receiving them from her we really do get each other's preferences. Both enjoy building beautiful boxes for the people in this community that we care about. My box was held hostage for, I think, 11 days in Detroit. I didn't know that it was gonna make it here on time, but it was no fault of Susan's. It was the mail backup with USPS, but somehow the stars aligned and the box got here and we are getting to open it during vlogmas she opened her box a while ago we were luckier with the box going in than the box coming here uh, so i know that she was happy with her box and i just know i'm going to be so happy with mine the box is absolutely beautiful with mickey and minnie wrapping paper I hear my kids making noise tonight is one of those nights where they're staying up all night i usually wait to film at night so my kids don't disturb the filming and also so i have the most time possible with them during the day but unfortunately tonight is going to be one of those nights but my husband is tending to them so if you hear the twins fighting or yelling twins are notorious for that children and it is what it is that's life with four kids and i just hope it doesn't take the focus off of this beautiful box that susan has built for me right and i'm opening it there's all of this so let me see oh here's the card it has princess aurora and we just did an aurora swap and generally i only link my vlogmas playlist up top i'm going to try and link the video i'm going to try and link the video above uh generally i only link my vlogmas video above but i will try and link our swap Hi Melody, thank you for doing another swap with me. I always enjoy them and I have so much fun doing swaps with you. I hope you like your... <laughs> I'm so tired. I was like making up words. I I'm looking at it again. <laughs> Her handwriting's completely clear. She's like, I hope you like your goodies. And I was like, good ears? Good ears? And like, I mean, I will show you guys how she wrote it. Like, I mean, it's totally nothing of the sort mom life hashtag mom life a mom life moment hope you like your goodies with much love susan merry christmas have a beautiful holiday and i hope you have a very beautiful christmas too susan of course we will be in contact after this but i want to say it on camera as well box for you guys to see it's all so beautifully wrapped and then I'm going to put it down so it doesn't knock my camera around. I'm working on a better filming setup right now. I'm working on a better filming setup right now, but right now I'm, you see my camera shaking a bit. Just know that it's temporary. I'm in between things. So the first thing I have is this envelope here, and it has a really adorable beauty, uh, beauty and the Beast. Yes, Beauty and the Beast. Don't listen to anything. Don't listen to what I say. Listen to what you see. I'm getting trippy with you guys. <laughs> I'm saying Lady and the Tramp. Uh, sorry, now I'm saying it right. I was saying Beauty and the Beast, it's Lady and the Tramp. Super adorable. And yeah, <laughs> this is my PO box address. I'm not just putting my home address right on the internet for people to see. There is a pin in here. And it looks cute. Oh my God, this is so cute. It is the Disney Parks Figaro Wild Side Pin. I'm not the best. I need to start doing what Susan does and take pictures and insert them in. These, this is such a cute pin and I love it. You have little tiger Figaro. And that's the thing with cats. If you're a major cat person, which <laughs> like 
they seem all sweet and then they get that like wild streak in them like your cat will sleep all day and then all of a sudden at 9 p.m it's like they took speed or something like they're they're crazy so there doesn't seem to be any direction so i'm going to start off with this it is a blind bag and i believe this is a bag charm let me see yeah it's a bag clip and it's got all the disney dogs on it and i'm going to oh my god i got one of the dalmatians and i love 101 dalmatians cruella de cruella de if she doesn't scare you no evil thing will I, I love the Dalmatians. As you can see, I have Pongo and Perdita there. And I think they're just so freaking cute. I love this Susan. Next, I have this little package here. Oh my god, this is such a pretty pin. I love it. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to open it because right now it's got on the plastic. And I, I swear, I promise, I'm going to try and take a picture of these and put them there. And you have Cinderella and you have Jack and Gus. This is an amazing pin. I love it. I just love that scene when her dress changes. Even though I'm team pink dress for Cinderella, I love that scene. And just how glittery her dress is after. I love Cinderella. It's definitely one of my favorite childhood movies. I remember seeing it with my grandmother. I think it was one of the first times my grandmother brought me into the city. And we went to the Eaton Center movie theater downtown Montreal. And I knew in that moment I was a city girl. <laughs> and I have been a city girl my entire adult life. Now I have this little box here. Oh my God. It is a Harry Potter Alex and Ani bracelet. It is platform nine and three quarters, which we have come to know is the pathway into the wizarding world so this is kind of my golden ticket so now i can go to hogwarts whenever i want and i will try and give you guys there we go that is amazing i love it susan you've already outdid yourself this is incredible i have what i think is a pair of ears and oh my god 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 i can't believe you got me these i think that you got these for someone else in their box and i was so jealous i'm like i have to have these because i'm gingerbread everything oh my god susan this is just next level this is incredible you could have stopped you could have just put this in the box <laughs> because <laughs> I go to Disney World almost every year for the Christmas season and this is the first year in many years except for the year I was in the hospital with the twins that I haven't had a Disney Christmas and this would have been the first thing I would have bought when I would have went through the turnstiles and into the Emporium somewhere just like in the middle right there I, I, I see where it is like i see where they're hanging in the emporium and i see myself picking them up and now they're here they're just so beautiful so incredible oh, okay that's all i can say next i have these Oh my God, Susan, these are so, so beautiful. Susan made these. They are incredible. 
I am going to try them on, but these are going right back on. These are incredible. They are beautiful. They are so Christmassy. I love Yoda and Grogu is so cute. So, I mean, we all knew him as Baby Yoda at first and now we know his name is Grogu. And I just think these are absolutely adorable. And Susan, your ears are just getting to be so incredible. Oh my God, you are so talented. These are incredible. I love them. But these are like my Disney Christmas wish come true. And had they not been in the box, it had it been any other pair of park ears, you would have gotten me. These would be staying on. <laughs> because it's this pair like oh my god and i have last year's pair so if you guys want to do a comparison side by side this is the last year's gingerbread and this is this year's gingerbread and honestly i can't pick a favorite i love these and i love that disney was really starting to do different kinds of ears with these and I love these because they're new. And next year, when I go through the turnstiles in 2021 for Christmas, I am wearing this on the ferry. I am wearing this on the monorail, whatever way that I choose to get in the park fastest, because I'm not waiting for the damn boat. If the monorail is gonna get me there faster, even though typically I do take the, um, ferry boat to Disney World because I like seeing the castle but like it's not time for sentimentality <laughs> like when I get into the parks I just got to get on the hand oh, the haunted mansion and get a picture of me sitting in a dune buggy wearing these okay so now my rant's over you guys can continue to see me unboxing because I got pretty ears and I just want to talk about my ears okay so the next item is this right here let's see what it is Oh my God, this is so pretty. This is a 2020 Hallmark Keepsake Ornament. So pretty. And what I love about it is that what I, what I love about it is, is that it's flat. And I think it lights up or something but the battery seems to be dead or there's no batteries included i don't know but it's not going to be an ornament because as i've said in my videos i cannot currently put ornaments in my trees because my kids are crazy so i am going to be displaying this year round in my background somewhere maybe you won't always see it because my background is quite large it goes really high but i'm going to put batteries in this and i'm totally totally going to keep this in my background and i love it and i imagine what she does is that her dress turns from pink to blue let me see oh there's batteries okay I'm gonna do something I rarely do. I'm actually gonna go get a screwdriver. I wanna go to a screwdriver and I open this up. Again, the terrible threes in action. I got this working and I added the batteries which were actually included and it does change from pink to blue, which is my favorite scene in the movie and Susan, did wonderfully because she knows me so well. I absolutely love this item is what I think might be a Funko. So I'm excited to see what Susan got me. Oh my God, this is so cute. It is Scuttle. Look how adorable he is. I love him. He is such an amazing character. Thank you so much, Susan. I love it. Ooh. And I have this one tiny package here, which I'm assuming will be a pin. This is so, so cute. 
It is the Aristo Cats pin with Duchess sleeping with her babies. And I love this pin. Again, I... The twins are fighting. Sorry, guys. Big emotions and serious lack of communication skills. Times two, hanging out with each other. That is what happens. So this is amazing. I will try and take a picture to show you guys. And we have one final item here. And look at the wrapping paper. It is so so cute. And Susan doesn't want me peeking. So I'm going to have to go and do all the work <laughs> and take it out of the box. So I have no idea about which gym short this is. And I do not have this one and I wanted to get more Christmas ones. This one is called Gifts of Joy. And it is Aurora holding a whole bunch of presents. It is absolutely stunning and incredible and look at the snowflakes on her dress it is so festive so pretty it is so festive and so pretty i love it and her face like the it's so well painted i absolutely love it and i love aurora i love the entire I love Aurora. I love everything about the aesthetic of the movie. I, I think that she's probably the prettiest princess. And I just love the aesthetic of how her hair is. Like, I mean, when I think princess, I think Princess Aurora. She's not a very interesting character development wise. I mean, <laughs> she's Sleeping Beauty, right? Like, a, she's Sleeping Beauty, right? A large portion of the movie, she's like, sleeping and the movie isn't really about her it's what people do around her so she's not that interesting I mean Prince Philip spends most of the movie trying to get to her and the fairies spend most of the movie trying to save her and Maleficent spends most of the movie trying to destroy her and she's kind of like almost like a side character in a movie that has her name but she's kind of like the motivation behind the entire movie at the same time but yeah i just and i love her crown like aurora has the best tiara so this is beautiful and thanks to this vlogmas season i actually finally have some holiday themed gym shorts and i'm thrilled about that I want to thank you so much, Susan, for putting together such a beautiful box. I love everything, especially this park magic right here. I mean, everything's beautiful. I mean, a Jim Shore and Alex and Honey, like this really amazing ornament. I mean, this box just has it all, like these beautiful pins, like everything. Like, I, I couldn't ask for more. You're such an amazing friend, such an amazing person. And I'm so happy to have gotten to know you. And I hope that 2021 brings you all the joy, love, and everything that you want in your life. I really hope that you are blessed in 2021 and just that everything is just perfect for you and for everyone. And I mean, I know nobody's gonna have perfection in their life, none of us are, but I hope that the light shines on all of us in 2021 and I believe that this will be the last video I am filming for vlogmas although there will be no wait I do have one more video to film but it's Harry Potter related and that's provided the box gets here 
Uh, it's another box that's being held hostage by the Postal Service. I know they're going through a lot this season, but they're still holding my box hostage. It's true. <laughs> I'm just I'm just being an arse, really. But thank you so much, Susan. You did so well. And to remind everybody, there's two days left for my giveaway, which finishes at 11.59 Walt Disney World time on the 24th of December, Christmas Eve. And to enter that, you will have to watch and comment on the video for day six, and you will get additional entries for any of my other Vlogmas content that is watched and commented on before 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or Walt Disney World Time. So that is all for this video. Go see what I got for Susan. Her channel is going to be linked below. I hope that she was just as much in love with her box as I was. So let the... So whatever you guys are doing with your holiday season and for Christmas and for New Year's, I hope that it is filled with love and light and joy and just miraculous moments with your family, even if it's through Skype. And even if you're opening gifts on Skype like I'm going to be doing with my family, I just hope that you make the most of it because the only moment you have is right now.